Hello, welcome back another SDS C++ and OpenGL tutorial. In this tutorial, as I promised, we will write the object file loader. The object file is a 3D format which can contain any model. So, it's much better to model it, model some model in a modeling program than write manually all of the vertexes. Uh, one, because it is almost impossible to write all of the uh, vertexes uh, in case of a more complex form like a human body or something and uh, that would be increase the size if we would put the entire object in here so the size of the program and if there is a new model or you want to change something you have to recompile the whole program so it is much better to use a file which contains the model which you can create with the model link programs like Blender. Similarly, OpenGL, uh, similarly to images, OpenGL doesn't contain a function to load any 3D, f uh, any 3D file format, so we have to write ourselves. It is actually more of a C++ tutorial than OpenGL because the OpenGL port will be quite uh, short, but. Uh, yeah, a little practice is never a problem. Okay, so I would say let's get started. First, I open up Blender. Here I am. I opened it. The, I opened the Blender. I make a full screen record, as you probably can see. I don't know how much can it be seen because I have to convert it to the same size as. Uh, I do with the other videos, so 720 by 480 so probably everything will be very very small so probably you can see it. Okay, so you may notice that I use Blender 2.49 it is an older version uh, your version is a little bit different but just a little bit most of the things is actually like it is in here Okay, so here is the default cube. As you can see, it is just a cube. Every edge is one uh, long. So, uh, yes. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's the default cube. You can uh, edit much more uh, uh, things in here. So if, you th uh, if we go to the wireframe mode, we can see that it is a cube. Okay, so uh, before we go on, I would like to show you these are the edges. Uh, no, sorry about that. So these are the ve vertexes of the cube, as you can see. So this point actually. Okay, so these are the vertexes. These are the faces. So these, so four vertex or three, depend on how it says and uh, not too important but these are the edges so the lines between two vertex okay that's about it i to uh, tell you everything that I, I wanted in here so i just save it i use the file export and i uh, select the wavefront uh, parentheses dot obj obj format so object format okay and I just uh, get a place where I put it so I put it, it in my desktop so I just have to find it and I call it uh, test.object so this will be just a test okay uh, by the way I use the simple cube because this will be quite easy to show you how this file actually structured okay so let me see in here i use the selection only oh by the way object i cannot contain animation although you see an animation button right here it will be uh, actually just export every single frame of the animation to a separate object file and actually if you load the separate object file uh, and then basically you can do animation although that's not the best solution okay so output option i just turn off the rotate x 90 
option option because I don't know what is this and I don't want to rotate it okay so I export the ed edges mm, I think okay I we will don't export materials or nerves right now or UV coordinates although we will export normals okay and uh, that's about it. I think we set, uh, set everything that is needed at the moment. So, and one more thing. So, if you select this triangle or polygroup, then, so, I don't know what this polygroup does. So, select this triangulate, then you would get only triangles. Uh, represent each object. For example, one quad is represented by two uh, triangle. Uh, by the way, in original, so if it is not set, sometimes it uh, represents a quad with two triangles and sometimes it represents a quad by a quad. Uh, I don't know why uh, does Blender, uh, uh, how does Blender decide, but it does somehow. Alright, so we can export it right now. Here we go. I will go back to the uh, text editor. Okay, then I just open this test.object file with gedit because it's a characteristic file, not a binary file. So we can move on. So let me see how is it structured. Okay, uh, you see that the first letters are decide. Uh, the first letter, sometimes the first one, sometimes the first two, decide what uh, what that line is containing. So, in this case, if it is a uh, hash mark, then this is a comment, like a type uh, typical bash file. This is a comment. Okay, so we don't care about these lines later when we read. Okay, the lines which start with V. This is, these are the vertexes. Vertexes basically, as you can see, the vertexes, we have eight vertexes in a single cube. Okay, uh, probably you have noticed that some is not exactly one. And why? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, and in here, these are the normal vectors. Normal vectors for every single frame. So the first line of normal vectors is the normal vector for the first uh, for the first phase. This is the for the second phase, the third phase, and so on. Okay, we don't uh, care about these two lines like right now because we don't really use the materials. Okay, and here the faces are. As you can see, it's in, uh, exported out uh, like uh, uh, quads. So, yes, it, 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 these are quad, uh, quads. I don't know. Uh, last time I did a test in my other computer with uh, probably another version of Blender, I don't know. Uh, it exported out like uh, triangles. So every quad is represented by two triangles. I don't know how this decides whenever it is quad or not, but it does. Okay, so how this faces is structured, so as you can see it starts F. Okay, so we basically tell what point do we want uh, to create, what point do we want to create uh, the face. So we want in the first vertex, so this, in the second vertex, so this, the third vertex, so this, and the fourth vertex, so this. Uh, in this case, it is really simple. We just uh, uh, we just create a face uh, between these four. In here, for example, in the second line, we use the fifth. I don't know. This is the approximately this, the eighth. This is this, and so on. So that's how we create the faces. And that's about it. It's really simple structure. That's why I choose this file format and it can contain anything that we want. All right, I think we can get, let's get, uh, so we can get started. Mm, this sounds weird. Okay, so I'm, this will return 
so it's written actually why don't we do okay so it will return an int which is actually an index for the list which we will use and call it load object okay and it will be a const char file name obviously all right okay so we generated uh, so okay so let's continue first of all we have to include the vector because uh, we will store at the store in a vector so everything we store in a vector because it is dynamically allocated we then load the string header file because we will read everything called Rhine as a string all right and then we just include the algorithm the header file this is the STL algorithms and uh, we need to include the file stream oh S stream header file uh, for the file things okay and I don't really think we need more oh maybe the stdio so include the the cstdio header file this is uh, for the s scan f all right and uh, we need to create a structure which will contain the coordinate basically just three float numbers so we store one float number two float number three float number so we just store this three float number okay so struct and call it uh, i don't know coordinate actually this will be good for vectors as well because those are just free float values as well so basically the same thing so i call this float x y z of oh, that all right and make a constructor so coordinate and it's a way to float a float b and float c okay and just initialize everything so x with a y with b and z with c and uh, that's about it okay so we create one structure for the coordinate and we need another structure for the faces so here the face is always integers and uh, yes that's about it so uh, call it uh, call it just face so struct face and uh, we have a uh, face number face num this face number is the number after the two slash so the in this case this is the first face second face third face and so on this is needed for uh, to uh, for the normal vectors so this first normal vector is is for this space the second so this is for this space and to decide ve uh, which uh, normal vector uh, uh, should we use for the faces we use the uh, face number okay that's about it so i make a bool and i call it four this basically will tell us that is it a quad or is it a triangle sometimes as i said sometimes it uses triangle sometimes quad i so basically to get about so to use it uh, whether uh, it is a triangle or a quad we just create a variable for it and uh, yes that's about it okay now we need to create a faces so I call faces and it will have four uh, so four possibilities so four four faces at max if it is just a triangle then a fourth we don't use the fourth okay 